Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is P6Fits and today I am here with the Sennheiser HD 598s. A gorgeous pair of headphones. Usually with these high fidelity headphones they don't have uh, the best designs on them. They're more uh, sound oriented than design oriented. But I can say that these are focusing on both for sure. The pads are wonderfully soft. They're not memory foam, but it could have fooled me. Uh, the headband on the inside is very soft, if you can hear. Uh, it does have, it's an air headband. The sound quality on these is beautiful. This is my first pair of real high fidelity headphones. Uh, before this I had a horrible uh, Beats that were not very good at all and I tried these on for the first time today and I did not know what I was missing. It was amazing. The first time I tried these on I played uh, a FLAC file uh, with my sound card uh, which isn't bad at all and it was amazing. Uh, I have the cable detached right now but uh, it does have a quarter inch jack but it does come with uh, an adapter so it can fit into the standard 3.5 millimeter jack that uh, goes onto most computers and portable devices. I do not have an amp amp for this device yet. Hoping to get one of those soon. Uh, more on the design, uh, it's open ears, so the sound does leak out pretty bad. Uh, hopefully you're not listening to any explicit material with your parents nearby, but uh, it's worth it. That That minor flaw is worth the sound quality that comes in. It, it's not noise canceling. I do like headphones that <laughs> bombs could be going off in your backyard and you can't hear, but this is a good change as well. You definitely do want to know what's going on around you. Uh, and I just cannot get over real wood grain here. If the camera could focus, the Sennheiser logo. They're just really high quality pairs. I believe they're about $249 on Amazon right now. They were just on sale if you missed them for the Christmas sale. Holiday sale that is. Uh, Sennheiser logo. All wood grain around there. Just beautiful headphones, really. Sennheiser across the top of the headband. I'm going to make a little cut here and I will show you what the cable looks like. Alright, I'm back and so this is the the quarter inch jack, 6.3 millimeters to be precise. The camera could focus here, yep. There we go. Going in and out of focus, but that's alright. It does come with the standard 3.3, uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter that goes into most devices. You just snap that in. Oh, it's rolling away. Should be kind of hard with one hand, but you see, you just snap that in. <laughs> Not really going in, huh? Ah, technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. Just snap that in, it looks like that. Come on. Come on. Focus here. Looks like that. It's a little bit bulky. But nothing too bad. There we go. Now we're into focus. And on the other end of the cable, it has a slightly smaller, I believe this is a 2.3 millimeter jack here, so you can see the size difference right there. I believe uh, the 2.3 millimeter jack goes into the headphone. It's not focusing at all. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, you can see the size difference there. And it goes out of focus. Oh, here we go. You can see the size difference there. I, this end plugs into this end right here, sorry. It plugs into the headphones, and I'll give you a shot of what that looks like. Uh, high quality copper cable. It's interchangeable because you can detach it from both ends, so we're all good there. Yeah, and that is the cable. 
this is what it looks like all attached. You can't even tell it's a detachable cable, really, uh, because it, it sits pretty flush with the design. Just fl everything flows, really. And now, if you are going to be using this for portable use, which isn't impossible, it is a fairly uh, lightweight set of headphones. It could be a little bulky, but uh, uh, you shouldn't have no problem with it fitting into your phone at all. And maneuverability may be a little of an issue, but uh, if you have a case, you might run into some issues as well, because this sits right flush against your mobile device. Some specifications on the box are from 12 Hertz all the way up to 38,500 Hertz for the frequency response. Uh, the sound pressure level is 112 decibels and the impedance is uh, 50 ohms. The total harmonic uh, distortion is uh, less than 0.1% of 1 kilohertz. Uh, so yeah, this should conclude my review. Thank you for stopping by a little bit different from most of the stuff we had on the channel. I'm going to be branching away from the Pokemon unboxings, maybe a few Hot Wheels videos in the future, but uh, probably more stuff like this, headphone reviews, uh, other equipment reviews. Alright, peace out guys.